get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, we got something brand new to learn about today. A brand new thing in music that you've never heard of before. Something brand new, it's gonna give us some new things to do, some new notes to learn, some new music to make. So, get ready to have some fun, and get ready to make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, Thurgood, we got a brand new song for you today, and this song comes from a different part of the world, but speaking of different parts of the world, I wanna talk about geography for a second. Geography is an important part of learning, and maybe you've learned some geography in some of your other classes with your teacher. Well, I have a question about geography. I have a question specifically about rivers. You guys know what a river is, right? It's water that flows, yes. Um, you guys know any rivers? We have a river, the Susquehanna River, yes. But did you know that in the world, there are some really long rivers? Well, I'm talking about here in America. I'm talking about all across the world. Does anybody know what the longest river in the whole world is? The longest river in the whole world. It's in Egypt, which is in Africa. Does anybody know? It is the Nile River. If you guessed Nile, good job. If you didn't, now you know. That's the longest river. Okay. What is the second longest river? Does anybody know what the second longest river is? I might have some guesses. I'll give you a hint. It's not in North America. It's actually in South America. Give another hint. The rainforest. Another little hint for you. Second longest river in the whole world. First one's the Nile. The second longest one is, another one you maybe have heard of, the Amazon River. Yes. Now, the third longest river. Now, this is one you might not know. The third longest river is a river in China. It's called the Yangtze River. Never, never even heard of it. You probably heard of the Nile. Probably heard of the Amazon River. Maybe never heard of the Yangtze River, which is kind of interesting because it's the third longest river in the whole world. Well, now you know it. The Yangtze River in China is a river where many, many boats sail, and those boats are taking things from one place to another. Taking goods, taking products, taking merchandise from one part of China to another. Sometimes even out. To the sea. Well, there's a song that some of the boatmen that sail on the Yangtze River sing. It's called the Yangtze Boatman's Chanty. Let me sing it for you. It goes like this. Ya ya hey, ya ya Sea shanty from China. I'll sing it again. I have a question this time. How many phrases in this song? Listen. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey, Yahoo, Yahoo, hey, hi, yai, yai, hi, yai, yai, Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Four. There are four phrases in this song. Nice job. I have a question. Only one of the phrases is actually different. Three of them are all the exact same, but one of them is different. Which is the different phrase? Listen again. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Hi, yai, yai, hi, yai, yai. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. You know which phrase it was? Yes, it was the hi ya ya. It was the third phrase, actually. Now, that phrase, hi ya ya, it sounds like another song, doesn't it? It sounds sort of like hot cross buns. You know what soul fetch that would be? Mi, re, do. Good. Start at the beginning. I'll sing you echo back. Yahoo, Yahoo. Once we know that phrase, we actually know almost the entire song. Because the second phrase is the same thing. Let's sing it again. Here we go. Sing it with me. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. The 
third phrase is the one we talked about, mi re do. Listen. Hi, yai, yai, hi, yai, yai. And the last phrase is just like the first two. Sing it with me. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Not too difficult of a song. You want to try it with me? Sing it with me. Here we go. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Hi, yai, yai, hi, yai, yai. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. You know, some fun we can do with this, and it actually involves making it some sounds with an instrument that we made last week. Now, this isn't something that might get shipped on a boat because you made it yourself. Castanets. These castanets are really cool because we can sort of make some type of like sounds that sounds like we're almost working on that boat like the boatman might on the Yangtze River. So I have some patterns for you. The first phrase has this pattern. Listen. Listen to that again. Ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta. Listen how that fits with the music. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. See how that works? If you have your cast nets, maybe go grab and see if you can play along. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. A little bit tricky, try it one more time. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. What's the different phrase? Yeah, the the hi, ya, ya, okay. Different pattern for that one. Listen. That pattern, of course, is ta di ta di ta 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 di ta di ta ta. Right? And the last phrase is just like the first two, like we said. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. I'm gonna put down in the description below the rhythms here on ta's and tadis. See if you can play along while you sing it, okay? Good luck, here we go. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Yahoo, Yahoo, hey. Hi, yai, yai, hi, yai, yai, yahoo, yahoo, hey. Practice that, it's a little bit tricky, but it's a lot of fun to do with your castanets. So have fun, don't get wet, and keep on making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade, ooh, starting to get cold out there. Starting to get chilly, and you know what? Time to put away the summer clothes. Time to get out your sweaters. Time to get out your sweatshirts. Time to get out your coats. And uh, time to maybe get out your petticoats, too, if you've got one. Speaking of which, Phoebe in her petticoat. Phoebe in her gown. Phoebe in her petticoat. Going into town. One last time. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. Stand up. Oof. All right, here we go. Ready to get dressed. Ready to get nice and dressed to go out in the town. Here we go. Ready? Follow me. Phoebe in her petticoat. Phoebe in her gown. Phoebe in her petticoat. Going into town. Good job. Get you up and moving. Nothing wrong with getting up and moving a little bit. Okay, there we go. Ooh, are we centered? Okay, we're good. All right. Guys, we've answered some questions about this song for the past couple weeks. Let's see who remembers the answers to these questions. First question, how many beats do we have in the first phrase? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats do we keep there? Four beats. Nice job. We have a melody over those four beats. Let's figure out the melody. Listen to the first three sounds. Lou, Lou, Lou. You should know that. Just had something very similar to it in the Yanksy Boatman's Janky. Lou, 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 Mi, Re, Do. Good. Who remembers the next sound? Mi, Re, Do, Lu. It's another Do. Mi, Re, Do, Do. Hmm. We step back up to Re. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re. Hmm. We step back down to Do. Very good. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re, Do. Hmm. There it is. That last sound. What type of sound is it? Yes, it is a low sound. It's the low. It's even lower than Do. You never had a sound lower than Do before. It's very interesting. Let's sing it on our solfa chains. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. Let's sing it in short hand sign. Here we go. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. How much lower is it than our do? Do you remember? 
Is it a step lower like this? Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. That's not right. No, it doesn't sound far enough. Or is it a skip? Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. It is. Our new low stand is so low. It's not even a step lower than do. It's actually a skip lower than do. Very interesting. You know, last week I asked you to make a picture. Uh, I've had my picture here, my petticoats, all different colors, all different, well, actually all the same except they're different colors. But if you made that picture last week, go ahead and grab that picture. Or if you don't know where it is or if you never got around to making it, go ahead and make one because I want you to point to it. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. And actually point along as we sing it, okay? So get your picture. Make a picture if you have to. If you didn't make one from last week, but if you still have it, you can just use that one. And point along as you sing. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, lo. Hmm, very interesting. Okay. You know, we got something brand new to learn about today. Something that we've never seen before in music. They sound lower than do. We're going to learn all about that. We're going to learn how it works. And you're not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned because it's coming up next. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade, time to learn. But a brand new musical concept, one that we've never really had before. We have a new sound that we've been hearing, a sound that is so low, it is a skip lower than do. Let me tell you what we call it. In music, when we have a sound that's a skip lower than do, we call a sound that is a skip lower than do, low la. Low la. This is what it sounds like. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Now hold on a second. Don't we already have a la? Isn't La our highest one, actually? Isn't La our other solfege name? It's our highest one? Well, it is. But now we have a low La as well. Watch. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re, Do, La. My hand sign's even the same, except instead of being up here, it's now our low one. Sing along with me this time. Here we go. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re, Do, La. Good. I'll sing it this time. You echo back. So listen first. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Good. Make sure you change low into la. That's the trickiest part of this, okay? Okay, now I'm just going to sing on lu. And I want you to echo back on the solfege. Listen, I'll sing on lu. You sing on solfege. Listen first. Lu, 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 lu. Solfege. Now, how do we have a low law? How is this even possible? What is going on here? Well, we're going to figure it out right now. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to put on a piece of paper, and you can do the same thing. If you have a blank piece of paper, you're going to need a couple of them. I'm going to put some steps up here. In fact, I'm going to put up six steps, because I'm going to put up this, something that you have learned about before, hopefully, a pentatonic scale, a pentatonic scale. Pentatonic scale is five sounds. One, two, three, skip, four, five. Five sounds is a pentatonic scale. Now, we have a problem because we have a new sound that's so low, it's lower than do, we don't have enough steps. So how many steps are we going to have to add to our picture in order to put our new solfege name on our steps with the rest of them? Well, it's a skip lower, not a step lower, so we don't have to add one step. We actually have to add two steps. One, Low la is way down here at the bottom. Now, I'm not just going to put a la like that. I'm actually going to put a little comma after it because that's going to make it a little different than our high la. Now, how is this possible? How do we have a high la and a low la? Well, let me tell you something in music. There are only a certain number of solfege names. There's only a certain number. Just like there's only a certain number of letters in the alphabet, there's only a certain number of solfege names. And in music, we have seven different solfege names. We haven't learned them all yet, but there are seven different ones. What happens when we go eight steps? Well, what happens when we go eight steps is we end up on a higher or a lower version of the one we started on because we repeat back to the beginning, except now it's either higher or lower. I can prove it to you. Watch, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps. In eight steps, we go something in music called an octave. Say the word octave. Octave reminds me of some other words. It reminds me of octopus. It reminds me of octagon. And all of these words should be bringing a number into your head. Eight. In music, eight steps is called an octave. 
And when we go an octave, we end up on a higher or a lower version of where we started. Because again, there's only so many solfege names. So we have a high law, and eight steps lower, we have a low law. Or, opposite way, we have low law and eight steps higher, we have a high law. Because they are an octave apart. Okay, good. So, what does this look like on our staff? Now, you thought octave was interesting. Wait till you see this. Now, on a staff, first of all, let me show you our staff again. Here's our staff. That's what a staff looks like. A staff is made up of five lines. If you want to make your own staff, you're going to need a ruler and a piece of paper and send it right on. Here's the easiest way to make a staff. Hold your paper the long way, horizontally, not the tall way, the long way. And on one edge, make a mark at two, three, four, five, and six inches like that. Then slide the ruler down to the other end and do the same thing. Make a mark at two, three, four, five, six. Now, you've got these lines like this. All you have to do is connect them with your ruler and you are left with the staff. Not too hard. Make those five lines. Again, two, three, four, five, six is the best way to do it on your ruler. So go ahead and make a staff. It's helpful to know how to make those. I'm going to use this one that I have. If you actually, you can probably find one of these online if you just search for a musical staff. And you can print it out too if you want, if that's easier for you to do. But either way is fine. So where do our sounds live? Where does low la live on our staff? Well, let's make a little reminder for ourselves. It's always important to know what we're writing. We're going to write that phrase from Phoebe and Repetit Code. Watch. Mi, re, do, do, re, do, la. Notice I put a little comma after that. So make a little reminder for yourself underneath your staff. Okay. Now, we've learned before, long, hopefully a long time ago you've learned this, that our soul page names live on our staff. We said that me is on the first line, re is under the first line, do is on its own line, and you know what? We're going to come into a problem here. We're going to have actually a pretty big problem. Do is already really low. So how can we even get lower than that? Well, it's going to get a little complicated, but there's something else you may you did not realize about music. Oh, hold on. I lost my eraser here. There we go. Sorry, I lost my eraser for a second. In music, our solfege names don't always have to go in these spots. They don't have to go on the first line or under or on its own line. They can actually go anywhere we want them to go. There's, a pro there's one rule, though. Wherever one goes, they all have to follow. They're a team. They're a great team. They're like the Avengers. They stick together to beat Thanos. Well, they don't actually fight Thanos, but they do stick together. So I can move me. Me doesn't have to be on that first line. Me can be anywhere. Let's say me is, um, let's say me is in the second space. Let's say me is way up here. Okay. So me is going to be there in the second space. Okay. Ray is a step lower. So Ray is no longer going to be down where it was before. We have to move it up. Ray is going to be on the second line. It's a step lower. So we're going from the space to the line, just like that. Okay. When me is there and Ray is there, Do also has to move. Have you figured out where Do goes? Do goes in the first space. Me, Ray, and Do all a step apart. In fact, we have two Do's back to back. Okay, this is looking familiar. It's looking like that picture of the petticoats. Interesting. Ray, we already said where Ray goes. Ray is going to go on the second line. And then we said Do again is in the first line, or first space, I'm sorry. Now, Lo La is a skip lower. Careful, it's a skip. Me, Ray, and Do are all a step apart. Low La is a skip lower. So Low La is not going to go on the first line. That's actually not far enough. That's only a step. Low La is actually going to go under the first line when Do is in the first space. It's under the first line like that. It's a skip apart. Looks just like our petticoat picture. Interesting. Now, you know, you can actually write this somewhere else, too. Again, soul fetch names can go wherever we want them to go. They can go anywhere we want. So let's start somewhere different. Let's say me is on the, okay, let's move everything up. Me is now on the third line. Everything else also has to shift up. So Ray is now in the second space. See how this is working? Everything's just sort of moving together. Do is on the second line. Another Do on the second line. Ray is in the second space, or, yep, and then Do is on the second line. And now Low La is also going to move. It's still a skip lower, so it's not going to be in the first space. It's only going to be on the first line. 
There we go. They all move together, but however they move, low lie is always a skip lower than doe. So it's always going to be a skip lower on our staff. Really big stuff today, guys. A lot of stuff. We're going to make more sense of this in the next couple weeks. So make sure you know how to write that staff. Make sure you know where those go, because coming up next week, we're going to be practicing a little bit with our new octave sound, low la. So make sure you have your stuff and make sure you're ready to go. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, third grade. Now we learned a lot today. We learned about an octave. We learned about low la. We learned a an awful lot of new things today, but I want to review something really, really quickly because I want to see what you know about our new rhythm we've really been focused on the past couple weeks, ta dimi. What I'd like you to do today is I would like you to make a pattern. It can be four beats long. It can be eight beats long. I don't care. Make it as short or as long as you want, but do at least four beats, okay? And what I want you to do is make up a pattern. Write out a pattern. Use ta, use ta di, use a rest, but you have to use at least one ta dimi. Okay, so write out a pattern. I'm not going to write, I'm going to show you. I want you to literally come up with one yourself. Once you have it written out, I would like you to get your castanets that you made. And I would like you to perform that pattern that you wrote. ta di ta di mi ta di ta Or if it's longer or wherever ta di is, whatever your pattern is, perform it on your castanets. What I want you to do is I would like you, in the description below here, I have a Flipgrid link. I'd like, you to, I'd like to see what you wrote. I'd like to hear what you wrote, too. Let's see how well you understand this new rhythm, ta dimi. Okay? So have some fun with this. There's no really right or wrong answer. As long as you're using ta dimi, as long as you're performing it on your castanets. So write out a pattern, perform it, send me a video, and have fun. Stop.